Hey, we're seeing your sprinter Kiev, Harry Kiev, last home meet this Saturday, uh, the NSU Leon Johnson Invitational. Last year, ran a 10 1 6 in the 100. What would it mean to, to go 10 1, 10 0 something at, at your last home meet? Uh, it would be a great feeling to end my home meet with a 10 1 or faster. But I'm just going into that meet just ready, just ready, just happy to be home again and just ready to take the track again. Obviously, the 60 and the 100 have been your your events um, in your career, but but you turned in a 2082 in the 200 last week. I mean, what what did that feel like, and that that makes you a, a metal threat at the 200 at the Southland Conference level too? I'm just trying to help my team score points in the kind of way possible at conference. Just trying to win the conference title. I'm a sprinter. I just don't want to make myself just a hundred or sixty sprinter. I just don't want to be you know all around. Two weeks ago at LSU. Um, you led a pretty elite field for about 70 meters of that 100 meter race, turned into 10 2 3. Um, you know, what What did that feel like, and then what do you have to do to, to finish those 30 meters the way you want to as well? Uh, I felt good. Uh, the start was good. My start had been a little rocky, and uh, I'm happy that I got it together and I really put it together this time. So now it's time for me to put my whole race together because it's starting to become the end of the season. So it's time for me to put it together so I can really make a push at Rio and the national team. Last year, you got bronze in the 100 at the Southland Conference Outdoor. Um, what would it mean to, to get gold in that event, especially considering that there are some national type guys along with yourself at this conference? Uh, it'll be a great feeling. It'll give me a confident boost of going into reading this. Uh, of course, I want gold in every event I step on the track foot, but I just want to score as much points as possible and help my team win the conference title. And then um, the relay. The relay has been really good to you. Y'all run a 39-35 at LSU, beat the likes of LSU in, in Alabama, Ohio State. Um, you know, this relay can do special things too. What, what would it mean to be able to go back to the NCAAs uh, on this relay and, and as an individual as well? Uh, that would be great. Every day I talk about how the experience was in uh, Eugene. I, would, I wouldn't mind experiencing that one more time before I finish my college career. Uh, Everything about Eugene and the national media is just a good feeling. It's all about who wanted more that day. And uh, I wouldn't mind bringing my guys there. We got about eight guys that can run 39 low. And that's just a great feeling that we all can push each other and we all can be better. The time that, that y'all went to NCAAs with back in 2018, you've already run lower than that time. Yeah. Uh, you know what, I mean, how has this relay come along this year, especially considering that you got eight guys that can run? Mm -hmm. Chemistry, man. We're just working on chemistry. We got the speed already. We just need to work on chemistry, getting the stick off and getting it off in the right time. A West St. John guy, started your career at Texas College. Tell me how you got to Texas College to start and then how you found your way to NSU. Uh, I got to Texas College just trying to get an opportunity from another school. And then once I moved on from Texas College, I just put in the hard work each and every day. Every day, track, 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 just trying to make myself better and get to the point to where I'm at and get further than where I'm at right now. What, um, you know, you're at Texas College, you're trying to get here. Did you think it would end up like this? Especially, there's a lot of years. It feels like you've been here about a decade, yeah. but with COVID and everything. But I mean, what, when you look back at that, on that journey, I mean, what, what crosses your mind? Uh, the journey, the journey made me what I am today. I always look back and appreciate everything I went through, all the injuries, going to Texas College, uh, running fast times to get here. I just, I appreciate it all, being in the training room, the weights. I just appreciate the whole journey. And then, uh, you know, obviously you got business to handle this season, but beyond this year, I mean, is pro career something that, that you want to do yeah, that I you're looking for? Yeah, de definitely want to go pro. Uh, I just want to run until I can't run no more, that's all. <laughs> Kiev Harry, thank you very much. All right.